Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Gen Con 50. I'm sitting down with Eric Epson from Game Absolver. And you? you brought us a lot of doodads for I not did. a very big box. Yeah, it's called Splatter Shoot. It brings a few new things, I would say. Um, first of all, it's a crazy game about building your map. The map you play on is built out of whatever you have on hand. So like this uh, a coffee cup or some boxes. Got some and Lego. Got some Lego, yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing, that becomes the map you're playing, right? And the other thing about the game is that you can use any kind of miniature you want. Okay? <laughs> I know, you guys quite, so yeah. we got some Smurfs here yeah. and <laughs> Daffy Duck. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's say I wanted to go for this one. I would pick this one. What, what do you want? Oh, Who do you want to be? Oh, I, I'll do um, uh, Dopey. All right. These are out of the game. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. There are also some miniatures, some cardboard uh, heroes in the box, but that's only if you don't have anything to play with. The whole point is that you use whatever you like. Okay? <laughs> and you can play this anywhere, uh, yeah, in different places where you usually won't be able to play games, like yeah, on sidewalks or on the beach. Or, yeah. uh, and then you just move around uh, with these uh, characters here, these small figurines, and you do that by measuring card lengths. So this, oh, would, look at that. so this would be one movement, so you have actually free movement. I was going to say, you even gave a little hash marks yeah, here did, along yeah. the side yeah. of the card, just to really To, to indicate that, that you have to measure. Uh, uh, to mission uh, Gen Con Exhibitors, the exhibit hall will be opening in 15 minutes. And, we also, yeah. and then um, the object of the game is to go from your, from your base, your spawn point here, uh, in the corners. And into the, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got one there as well. Yeah. Yep. Into the middle of the game to capture the flag here and bring that back to your, to your base. That's the objective. Yeah. So, uh, as you do that, as you move around with these car planes here, you can pick up uh, gadgets like these. Okay. <laughs> ah, and we got a gadget. Yeah, we got a gadget here. And th this would be a tractor beam. That would be a tractor beam. So I can actually pull you towards me if I have a, a close distance uh, weapon. I love a little quote there, come to daddy. Come to daddy. <laughs> so say, for instance, if this is you, right? Maybe you are here. I'm, I'm, I'm behind the mug, You're depending on the camera view yeah. we're on. And that's one of the other new things, I think, that brings to mind, that you have to use true line of sight when you shoot. Ah, so uh, right. let's say I have this weapon here, an Uzi. I would have to determine how far I'm away from you. So if I'm within one card length of you, I would deal you three of those splatter cards here. If I'm further away, it will only be two, okay? So as we can all see, this is only two, right? Right, okay. So I would, so I would actually do it. Oh, okay. Because I'm the one that's shooting at oh, you. Oh, fair enough. There, I don't there. want to take that away okay, from you. Okay, <laughs> So I'll give you one of those here. Oh, and right, shin bone shattered. Yeah, exactly. And that's when it gets funny because I have to, to, I have to put down here uh, to actually determine the line of sight. Okay, so what can I actually see? That's, that's the first person shooter. Okay. okay, so can I see your, your right? Shin bone? Yeah, and actually your shin bone is actually hiding behind oh, this uh, stack of cards, so that's also right. part of it. So this one won't, it won't hit you, right? It would just be there. Alright, All right. but I got another card coming. Uh, yeah, you got another one, let's see. Oh, the left eye. My left eye popped can I see, out! I can just see your left eye. So yeah, you'll have to take this damage, right? <laughs> so you would put it, put it in here, your medical record, to keep track of the damage. Just because there are so many of these splatter cards around all the time, so just to yeah, separate them. Yeah, I was going to say, them. the little rubber band is yeah. actually quite helpful to it is, keep all that it is, together. Exactly, yeah. So once you have 10 of those uh, damage points, you die and must respawn from your base in order to continue to... So what, because you use so many of your own items, yeah. what exactly do you get in the box? So we've oh, got yeah. the, the, the decks of cards the here. The decks of cards, yeah. We've got our little, uh, little Environmental hideouts. things, mm -hmm. yeah, and some cardboard heroes. And then a lot of these splatter cards here, and some gadget cards and some weapon cards. Right? And also these tuck boxes here can be used for environmental things. Like you can put them up if you don't have anything. Right, so if you just had the box, nothing else, you yeah. could still exactly. have when a wonderful you just, time. When you just got the game and yeah, sitting on the beach or in a restaurant, uh, you know. <laughs> it's good for kids as well. Uh, I was going to say, this would be a great game yeah. as an excuse for the kids to not clean up their toys. Exactly. You just, wherever and, they fall, uh -huh. bam, let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a good way to get to use some of their Lego. We all know that they <laughs> have. only have a couple. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also for people not playing the heavy games, um, I mean the real long heavy games, this is a good introduction 
to gain. I want you to just hand me that box again. We, we were just talking about also how people are going to find this if they're interested in picking Yeah, this up. it will be on walmart.com in about a month or so, so it's about October. Coming up soon. I was going to notice that you also guys had a great tutorial oh, right yeah. on the side of the box there. We do, so yeah. if we you do. guys can. You can learn it in 15 minutes or so if you watch the video, but now you. I feel like they could learn it just I mean, by watching there, this video. <laughs> there, there are also a, a few more rules, but they're not that many. But yeah, let's say for instance that I'm not sure if I can see your left eye from from before here. If we have a dispute about that, I'm sure I can see your left eye. No, you can't no, see. You can't. You I can. Can't possibly. Then it will just ask the cars, you know, to get that out of the way. We do that by, can I see your left eye? And it will say no. No. You know, and then each time <laughs> when you judging. when you do pick up a gadget like this one and you get a new gadget, this has to respawn, and you also use these splatter cards for that. So you just flip it without looking at it first, so like this, and then this random error where. here, you yeah, know, three card rings in that direction. That's one, two, three, and then over here, Somewhere yeah, over by the S. you don't have to be too precise about it. It's all about having fun and not, yeah, following oh, the rules. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric, I really appreciate that you were able yeah. to come by and give so us a quick I. loop. That is Splatter Shot. Splatter Shoot. <laughs> if you guys want to check that out, this is from um, App Sol uh, Game App Solver and will be available at Walmart. And thank you again. Game App Solver. Game App Solver, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.